In this video, we're going to talk about how to import the changes that your accountant has made back into your QuickBooks file. So you'd worked on your file, you had sent a change file to your accountant, they had worked on it, they've made several adjustments, and at this point they have notified you that they are done with the file and that you are ready to bring those changes back into your file. Here's the steps that you'll need to take. You'll go over to File, you're going to go to Send Company File, Accountant's Copy, and you, as you can see, these options are grayed out because we've already sent the file to the accountant, which leaves importing their changes or removing restrictions. Be very careful. Do not remove restrictions unless your accountant tells you to do so. So at this point, what you want to do is your options are either to import the changes from the web or from a file. The file will be used if they give you like a thumb drive or if they send it to you over email. The web is typically what I find to be the easiest option. So I'm going to go ahead and import the changes from the web. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask that we save our backup our file uh, here in just a moment. But first, you've got to review the changes that they've made. So in this case, I've just got some very simple changes. Basically, just move some money from um, checking to savings. And you can review these to make sure that you agree with them. Make sure that you're okay with it. Sometimes your accountant will put some notes up here for you to review. And as long as you're good with everything, then what you, you can save the copies as a PDF or you can print it. And then you're going to want to click this button right here, Incorporate Accountant's Changes. Now it's going to go ahead and close, and it's going to go ahead and back up your file just in case there's any problems. All right, now it's importing the changes. It's showing you that the changes that have already been pulled in. And at this point, we can go ahead and click close because basically all of our changes have been pulled in at this point. Now, this closing date, this is actually a very valuable feature. As you can see, what it's saying is, is that, in other words, your accountant has brought in changes. Theoretically, once they've sent you your file, then everything prior to that dividing date should now be in good shape. It should be clean. It should be adjusted and you probably don't want any adjustments to that data because if it is, they're gonna get really mad. So that's where the closing date comes in. It basically says once you establish a certain date, there could be no changes prior to that date without a special password. So like for example, if you've just finished your year-end tax return, that's a great time to go ahead and establish a closing date and a password. So you've got two options. Either You could either do yes or no, up to you. If you're not sure, uh, give your accountants in a call and so that they can go ahead and t walk you through that. And there you have it. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call at 502-867-1040. Thanks for watching.